What's up, everybody? How we doing? I missed you all. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, Coach Howell. Good to see you again. Great to, great to be seen. Yeah, you got that right. That's <laughs> for sure. And but judging by you know your way you came in, you're extremely excited about the year that's coming up. What's going to be different about this year as opposed to teams in the past where you have a, a large variety of ages? Well, we all have to come together. You know, we, we understand the talent that we have on the roster and, um, you know, what, what we have the ability to do. But you have to put in the work and you got to make the necessary sacrifices and uh, you got to figure things out, you know, as they come up throughout the season. And I, I feel like our guys are, are highly motivated to do that. Frank, uh, Anthony says he's going to play center. So what can you tell us about that decision uh, for the season? He's played center the last two years. You know, um, it's just a, what type of balance are we going to have? You know, and, you know, that's still to be determined. Um, you know, last, I, I think the first year, it was a, a near 50-50 balance of, of him playing alongside another big uh, at the four and then him sliding to the five. Um, last year was more him playing the four, you know, with, with Mark and, and Drummond and, and Trez getting a lot of those uh, minutes in there. Um, I think we're going to return more to the, the first year's balance, um, but he'll play some four and some five. Frank, last year you guys had some uh, fairly costly interruptions due to COVID. Um, I'm wondering what it means to you that this team, according to Rob last week, is on track to be 100% vaccinated by opening night. Uh, what it means to be vaccinated? I mean, I know what it means to be vaccinated. I'm wondering what it means to you. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. I just there's a lot of Sorry. noise over there. What, guys it, what it means to you that your group will be 100% vaccinated yeah, after the interruption? It's, the well, it's it's huge. You know, obviously you want to, you know, you want to be able to not be compromised, you know, in any way with uh, extended absence for uh, quarantines or exposure quarantines. Uh, they were costly last year uh, to our group. Um, you know, not everybody, not every team in, in the league this year, you know, has that luxury, but uh, we do. And, um, you know, it, there was a lot of conversations and education uh, to get that done along the way. And, you know, we're, uh, I'm super proud of our guys uh, for making that commitment. And, um, you know, hopefully we don't have some of those disruptions like we did last year. Good morning, Frank. Morning. How you doing today? I'm good. Good, good. When you and your coaching staff got together and you looked at the different opportunities to put lineups out there, how often do you guys go through, this would be a good lineup, this would be a good lineup, okay, how are we going to make this all work with basically 12 guys that can all play very well for you? Well, it's definitely a, a challenge and, uh, you know, what, what we all like to call a good problem, right? Um, you know, but it is, it is still, a, a, you know, a difficult challenge. Um, the thing I like about it is, uh, you know, all the lineups that we put on the whiteboard, you know, with uh, the different ways that we can go with our group, they're all good. <laughs> they all look really good to me. You know, there's, there's not a lot of lineups you put, put up there, you know, where you feel like you have some holes and, and it's going to be a struggle to win with that group. So, uh, you know, for us, it's just a matter of uh, which of those good, good choices is going to be the best choices to start games, to finish games, you know, uh, the combinations of guys going to play throughout the year. You know, that, all that stuff uh, typically plays itself out in training camp, the practices, the early preseason games, and along the way in the regular season. Hey, Frank. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, LeBron just told us that, you know, he, he thought it would maybe take a little time with Russell Westbrook to kind of figure out how that combination could best work, but that he sort of always figures it out, whether it's Dwayne Wade or other stuff. I'm, I'm curious, in your time with him, what have you seen in his adaptability that gives you confidence that sort of he'll always figure it out, to use his words? Well, he can do it all, first of all, and he's willing to do it all, you know, and that's, that's what we've seen, you know, in, uh, in playing with AD two years ago and, and as a new teammate, uh, what he's done with, with Kyrie and um, you know, obviously D. Wade in Miami, you know, all, all these other stars that he's played with, he's adapted his game, uh, done, his, done whatever is necessary uh, to win and, and put himself in position for the ultimate goal, um, you know, and like I said, like the willingness to do it is one thing, but when you have, you know, his skill set and his mind, like he, he literally can do it all, you know. So, uh, you know, very confident that, that that's going to work itself out. Hey, Frank. What's up, Kyle? Good morning. Um, you know, when whenever you talk about a team with a lot of depth like your roster has, there's also a lot of mouths to feed, a lot of guys who are going to be looking for minutes. Um, 
how, how do you kind of find the answer there? Do you think that the experience and the age that people are talking about as a negative will influence how guys are kind of able to, to find their roles and plug and play? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, a lot of mouths to feed, yes. Uh, but we all know, I think everybody on our team understands that to win the ultimate goal, to win a championship, we have to be a team first team. And, and everyone in uniform is going to put the team above themselves individually. And, you know, that's, that's going to, they're all here to win a championship. So, um, you know, that's, that's something I'm not really worried about. Uh, the second part of your question was? Yeah, well, I think, I think you know, the, the age and experience, um, you know, can benefit you in this, in this situation uh, from a standpoint of understanding, you know, that, you know, stepping aside for a teammate or for the, for the group to have success is sometimes necessary to win a championship. And, uh, you know, I think the experience of our guys will help with that. Hey, Frank, um, you guys obviously added a lot of shooting and scoring and playmaking, but I think one of the trade-offs is not as much defensive talent, at least in the backcourt. Uh, so you guys have been top three defensively the past two seasons. Is that still the expectation? And, and kind of how do you view that challenge of, of maybe getting more out of a less talented defensive group? Yeah, we lost uh, some, some strong perimeter defenders, um, you know, but we've got great two-way players and, and no one that we feel is really a liability. Um, we have a smart scheme you know, that I think uh, our guys will come in and compete in. And yeah, you know, if, if uh, you know, we're going to set a high standard for what we can accomplish on a defensive end, you know, are we going to be the number one defense in the league again? I don't know. We have the rim protection to do it. We have the minds to do it. We have the athleticism to do it. You know, is this group going to commit like, uh, like the teams of, of the last couple of years? Um, you know, that's going to be the question and that, that's going to be the challenge uh, placed upon them. Okay, thank you guys.